Day 30, Grace for a Terrorist. You hear about it every day. Some religious fanatic murders an innocent person, purporting to protect the reputation of his God. I was that man. If your God requires you to protect his reputation, he is no God. If your God compels you to defend his truth, you're not defending the truth. You're only indulging in your own narcissism. Perhaps like you, I was determined to excel beyond all my contemporaries. Circumcised on the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, I was a Hebrew of Hebrews. Concerning the law, I was proudly a Pharisee. Concerning zeal, I gladly terrorized anyone that didn't believe. Concerning the righteousness that is of the law, I considered myself blameless. I had become a legend in my own mind. Unabashedly, an untrained Nazarene named Jesus began teaching in the synagogue and stole my thunder. He began mesmerizing the people with his lying signs and wonders. I could not believe my porcelain ego was so threatened with fracture because of this uneducated carpenter. I knew from the very beginning that every word Jesus said and every miracle he performed conformed to the scriptures. His light was pure, but it exposed my darkness. I refused to admit my need for a savior. In my mind, my God needed me. Fear had pierced my soul and brought with it demons of hatred, violence, and murder. The more I rejected his words of grace, the more bitterness and wrath consumed me. I thought it would finally end when we crucified Jesus, but it only became much worse. Now every uneducated Jew thought he knew God, and as much as I was obsessed with destroying this war against my religion, I was privately tormented by demons. They mocked my imperfections, divulged my weaknesses, and repudiated my achievements. Then one day on the road to Damascus, grace knocked me off my horse. Though I had been persecuting him, Jesus rescued me from the torment of my insecurity. I had been obstinately assaulting the very good news of grace I so desperately needed. I had not been protecting my religion or my God. I had become a terrorist. Jesus was the only one with enough mercy and grace to forgive a terrorist like me.